Well guys, welcome back to the channel here at Corn Dog Caravan. I'm Ray and we are at Custom Coach Creations in Deland, Florida. And I want to show you two models that they are now producing really as kind of a, as a turnkey van for those that are really just looking for an easy uh, van to purchase. A model that it will be duplicated with some add-ons. You can add on you know, some options. But really we're going to highlight these and leave, give you a look. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Comment below if you have any questions about the van. And I'll try to answer it or I'll uh, reach out to Custom Coach to answer anything that I don't cover in this video. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you like these kind of videos. All right, so we are looking at the, I'll call it the entry level. This is the Voyager. This is on a ProMaster chassis. I believe this is the 23 model. It has the modified nose, which I, I absolutely love. Uh, great uh, build again from Custom Coach. We've got the side glass. We've got glass on the side here back by the beds. And we've got one back here. Now this does have an air conditioner on top. No, I don't believe this one has any solar at all. So we'll come around here and talk to James. And before I turn it over to James, I do want to point out on the back, they are now going to a system where the shore power comes in below kind of keep it a little bit stealthier it does come with a tow hitch so it's that is there all right so this is going to be the custom coach quick kit so as you can see it's just a very uh basic simple design build it has a couch back in our uh, couch bed in the rear so you got dual couches that convert into a bed Underneath one would be a power system. Underneath the other would be the water systems. Um, micro refrigerator. Refrigerator is a 12 volt, so it does not require the inverter. It works off of the battery bank. You have a full shower here uh, with a Corian, uh, custom Corian uh, pan, dry flush toilet. This has a Houghton 110 AC. These seem to be very popular units because they are extremely quiet. They're really well made, they're very quiet, um, and they do work with a remote. Yeah, it is very quiet. Yeah. And feels good too. Yes, sir. Max air fan, uh, full power with a remote. Now this one only has a 200 amp hour battery bank, but you could expand that up to, uh, you know, over a thousand amp hours if you wanted to. 3,000 watt inverter, so it has the ability to run anything you would want to in this vehicle. So we can actually see the power system. Now, we obviously left room for future expansion. You could easily add one, two, three more batteries. Right now it has a 3000 watt Victron uh, inverter, 200 amp hour Victron smart battery, all Victron components. This is a Victron 100 amp BMS. Um, it also provides 100 amps charging off the vehicle alternator. All hidden away and all hidden away. Wires, wires dressed well. Yeah, really good job. And everything designed where you can expand on it. Like I said, we left room to where you could add three more batteries easily. So you could easily up this to 800 amp hours if you wanted to. And if we really wanted to, we could move things around and you could even go 1,000 or 1,200 if you if you wanted to go yep. that high. Before we make the bed, we're going to go just go and take a peek under the cabinet or the, the bench here. And I wanted to just take a second to show you guys just the quality of the, the the work on these cushions. Air vents, nice zippers. Yeah, good quality. So this one, if I'm not mistaken, has a 30 gallon fresh tank. These are the uh, two additional slats for the bed. So I'm gonna pull those out so we can actually put the bed together and show you how it works. Water pump here, little bit of storage left in the back where you can put you know, your hoses or shore power connection, whatever you need. A little bit of storage back there. Okay. That just drops down. And this is all Baltic birch? Yes. Cabinet or cabinetry in? Cabinetry grade. So first off our table, 
actually acts as one of our slats. So we're going to put this in. Alright. Yep. Now Just it's as simple it. as sliding this forward and dropping that down. Dropping that down. You got a nice tight bed. Here we have pull down window shades. So awesome. You grab them in the center. You can pull them down. You don't want your shade. You grab them in the center. And just push them up. Yep, very nice. Nice and simple. And then what's this here? So this right here is a cooling fan for your power system that circulates air through this box. It actually has a switch on the back side where you can put it on high, medium, low, or off. Um, we tend to just leave them usually on medium. This is a main disconnect switch, so say if you were storing the van for a period of time or not using the van, you can switch that thing off, shuts everything down, you don't have to worry about your batteries being drained or anything like that. Awesome. So that just basically prepares the van for being stored. And likewise, when it's ready to hit the road, turn the switch on and turn the, switch on, you're ready turn the key. Yep. Awesome. That's just your breaker panel, so you have a 110 side and you have a 12 volt side with everything labeled in there. Of so we've got good cabinet space here. We've sink drain, got the P-trap here, vent system, and then on this side. Four gallon water heater and some storage area underneath there. And fire extinguisher, I like that. And then all of the latches, they're uh, with it whisper quiets, is yes. that? Okay. Yep, whisper locking latches. So here, here, all this, all your cabinetry for your kitchen items. This does have two, it's got a, we do on our TVs, a really long swivel mount, so you actually can get it around where if someone were sitting in the passenger seat and that was a swivel, yep. they would actually be able to use the TV. Very good. And then upper cabinetry, and we just kind of pop that real fast. Yep. Soft close uh, hinges. Doesn't hit the air conditioner, I like that, good idea. Okay, so we have a Victron power system that is controlled by the Victron app. So you can log on to the Victron Connect app, and that would give you the ability to turn your inverter on and off. You can also see the health of all your components, what they're doing, if you needed to troubleshoot something. Everything else would be controlled right here. You know, your basic switches, tank monitoring system, and remote control for the AC unit. Uh, puck lights are standard. Are these also touch sensitive puck lights? These are not touch sensitive. These are just a flush mount, a high end LED. Look nice. And again, yeah, they finish out, clean out really well. Yeah, and you guys do a really good job with all the trim, just getting all the crazy spots in the ProMaster finished yeah, out nicely. At times. Little pizza oven here. And then the new front look on the 23 model. New steering wheel or a redesigned steering wheel to match, I think, some of the other models of Ram. Sink, we have a lid here, cover. Now we keep a little handhold here, so when you're entering and exiting the van, you can actually grab this and use it as like a little handhold. So coming in and out, I can grab it, help myself in. This gives you a countertop, and then there's your sink. Nice and deep, retractable, awesome. Hot and cold water at the sink or cold only? Hot and cold. Awesome. Two burner cooktop. And I think we showed the now water heater. Is, We've got the yep. the water heater there, four and a half and gallons. This is an induction cooktop. Yep. So it only works with induction cookware. Um, it won't get hot or burning. Yep. And then we've got the little lift up here. Yes, sir. You got a flip up tabletop. It's actually quite large, so you can really extend that countertop. Very nice. Almost forgot, but let's talk about the appliances on this side. We've got the 12 volt refrigerator. So this is the 12 volt contour refrigerator. Um, the cool thing about these is they do not require the inverter, which means you can have your whole power system shut down and still run your refrigerator. Yep, good size. This is a 1000 watt microwave and this thing literally does everything. I mean, it's a dehydrator oven a microwave air fryer uh, yeah air fryer i mean it's crazy what these things can very do. nice now if they wanted a different one not that you would need it you could you could go with a smaller unit you could go with there are some options like if you wanted one at a black face 
or the stainless steel, smaller, larger. I mean, there's a lot of options as far as like what microwave you could or go okay. with or something like that. All right, well, let's close this up. So this is, again, kind of the entry model. I mean, the, the interior is beautiful. I love the colors. I like the lighter color, the gray, all one piece floor. Good layout. So this is the entry level. Now, price point, let's talk about price a little bit. Do we, what's kind of an expected number that we can expect? So this one is under 100. Okay. Usually, just depending on what little options they may or add, add, add to it or remove from it, it's gonna be between 90 and 100. Okay. Just depending on some small variations. If they wanted a little bit more battery, if they wanted running boards, a swivel seat. As this one stands, we're asking 93.5. Okay. And this is on the 23 model, so this is? This is a 2023 okay. brand new view. And again, 2,500, this is the non-extended length. 159. The 159 wheelbase, so hope you like the video. If you have, again, any questions about this Voyager model from Custom Coach Creations here in Deland, Florida, just put it down below. And thanks for watching, guys.